So what do you got? I'm JP Mestanza. It's Tuesday, March 16th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVC Phuket. Check them out on Facebook. As Thailand records 149 cases today, most of them in Bangkok, the Prime Minister received his shot of the AstraZeneca vaccine. Prime Minister Prayu chan o was vaccinated at 8.30 a.m. this morning at the government house in Bangkok. The 63-year-old took the AstraZeneca vaccine, the use of which was suspended just last week in several northern European nations over issues of blood counts and one death in Denmark. Thailand followed suit with their own suspension of the vaccine, even though the batch the kingdom received is different from their European counterparts. A spokesperson said Thai officials had carefully reviewed the data related to this vaccine over the weekend, leading to today's inoculation of the premier and several cabinet ministers. Thailand previously secured over 61 million doses of the vaccine, hoping to inoculate half the population by the end of the year. Meanwhile, officials confirmed 149 new cases today, 100 of them in Bangkok, and it raises the total to 27,154. The death toll is still 87. 97% of total patients have recovered. The owner of the five-star Sri Panwa Resort, who is still recovering from a car accident south of Patong that took place on Sunday night, he was tested for alcohol, according to the Phuket Provincial Police. A statement was posted on their official Facebook page at 11 p.m. last night, explaining what transpired since Sunday night's crash, which took place in front of the Ao Nam Ball School on a curve on Sakti Det Road. 40-year-old Vorasit Isara, nicknamed Plawan, he was trapped behind the driver's wheel for over an hour while rescue workers used hydraulic equipment to cut him free from the wreck. He was rushed to Vashira Phuket Hospital, where he was in ICU for several days and doctors say he could be discharged this week if results show he has no serious issues from the crash. Locals in the area told the Phuket News that the location on Sakti Det Road is the scene of many accidents, although it's unclear if previous attempts were made to prevent future accidents. As of now, police have yet to disclose the results of the blood alcohol test. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back after this. For the best mosquito screens available in Thailand, contact PVC Phuket on Facebook today. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. One of the anti-government protest leaders currently detained on Les Majesté's charges of insulting the monarchy, he threatened to go on a hunger strike unless others are allowed bail. Yesterday was the first time all of the protest leaders met with prosecutors and other stakeholders in the criminal court in Bangkok. Pare Chiwarak, known as Penguin, he made the call during the hearing with over 60 people, including embassies and international organizations, in attendance. Penguin read a prepared statement, but the judge at the hearing immediately adjourned and ordered another session to be held privately. Penguin said he would be on a hunger strike, consuming only water, sweet drinks, and milk until those accused in all lese majeste and political cases were allowed bail. Penguin is one of 22 protest leaders facing charges in connection with protests that took place in Bangkok in late September last year, and nine of them were charged with insulting the monarchy. Meanwhile, two weeks ago, eight people, including three cabinet ministers, were found guilty of insurrection against an elected government during the 2014 Bangkok protest that saw the current administration first take power in a military junta. All of those who were charged and handed three to five year prison sentences for insurrection, they were allowed bail within two days. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Marine life experts have again been called in to investigate a mass of red sea urchins that washed ashore Patong Beach after more than a thousand of the spiny creatures were left on the sand in Patong yesterday. Local residents again raised the alarm after finding the sea urchins measuring 8 to 15 centimeters across littered along the beach in front of the Patong Merlin Hotel early yesterday morning. Marine experts were called in and collected specimens and water samples for testing. These are the same type of sea urchins that washed ashore on March 2nd. Marine Department officers say the sea urchins have come close to shore in Patong to feast on microalgae that has blossomed in the bay, and the strong waves during the tide push them further out towards the sand. 
Although they've now been cleared from the beach, Patong lifeguards are warning people to beware of any sea urchins that may have been left undiscovered on the beach due to their sharp spines. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. That's it for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by PVC Phuket. Check them out on Facebook. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. คุณมองเห็นอะไรไหมครับถ้ามองไม่เห็นเดี๋ยวเราจะย้อนภาพให้ดูทีละมุมถ้ามองจากรถที่อยู่ด้านหน้าคุณจะเห็นชายขี่มอเตอร์ไซค์ตามมาด้วยความเร็วปกติถ้ามองจากคนที่นั่งอยู่ข้างทางคุณจะเห็นชายขี่มอเตอร์ไซค์ผ่านไปด้วยความเร็วปกติแต่ถ้ามองจากคนที่ขับรถตามหลังมอเตอร์ไซค์คันนี้มันติดติดไม่มีไฟท้ายก็เหมือนไม่มีคุณอยู่บนถนนตรวจสอบไฟท้ายให้ใช้งานได้อยู่เสมอ